everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Whether people know or not, uh, I want to refresh your memory. Wachter was a really bad brand. Um, in the fact that the person was very uh, narcissistic, the person in charge of it, uh, kind of tried to make it his own little harem, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of mistreatment, a lot of um, power play, a lot of, you know, trying to use his power to do different things. And uh, most people left. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that they're the ones who uh, did end up doxing one of their people through their actual official channel, through the actual official channel, the one of the people who left. So we have that going on. They rebranded as 910 Inc in Japan, at least, they are 910 Inc, it's Wachter. Everyone knows that. So what happened now? We have Rushia Mikaneko, however you want to call her. Of course, this is all a rumor. This is all speculation based on similar voices. And of course, as we know with Annie and um, Nyaners and that type of stuff, there are a lot of voices that are similar and that could happen in Japan as well. So I am leaving this, like I said, to all of you, whether you guys decide this is true or not but I'm going to give you all the information that I have right now. It all started with this guy. This person, Kiribito, the, them, they, them, male, female, don't know what they are. They're just Kiribito online. They're just someone who is a uh, SAO fate, jinx, uh, etc. Blue Archives, Genshin Impact. Tweet whatever comes to mind. Things of interest are those things. Well, what did they tweet? They tweeted this. This thing here, which was, um, comes days related to sweets. Uh, nope, this isn't. The right one this one right here i apologize the, the first one wasn't the right one this is the right one kama uchino kamishiro nia uruharushia uh mikineko amemiya nazana koitoria yoronuki if that's true that's too funny even voldemort only made six horcruxes and here's what people are saying here uh translate the post it looks like he's gonna take the name of virtual voldemort he she uh works in japan as the same thing so it could be either he or she there are way too many faces Looking down here, he who must not be named, of course, and uh, people just making fun of the whole situation. You have people here who are like, the darkest thing is that even though he says it's not true, he can believe the post doesn't belong to Ruki. And what is going on here is um, they're all saying that this person here, Mikineko, is this person here. And this is Yorona Ruki. Let's listen on to what they have to say first. Here's Uraha Rushia first, so you can kind of get the voices going, get the understanding of both voices. Get how everything goes in that sense. Um, let's get the voices going and then we will go through everything. Okay, we have that. And this is Yorono Ruki. And this is their stuff that they're doing. ロッキーがデビューの日でも寝てます。こいつは。こんな感じなんですよ。ロッキー。ロッキー。ええじゃやろ。マイクラ本番やり方わかんない。あ、マジで。こっち。なんか宣伝来たけど。面白い。うん。
saying, who is Boku being mistaken for someone else getting vandalized? I hate it so much. Down here, people are responding. Uh, Ruki-chan is Ruki-chan. I so hope misunderstanding and trolls will go away soon. We can have an environment where we can enjoy streaming. I hope so too. Because whether they are or aren't, it's up to uh, them whether they pass it out or not. In fact, if you listen carefully, it's completely different. This is tough. Like, there are similarities. Like I said, with Annie and Nyaners, there are similarities too. There are a lot of people who have similarities. This is just a rumor, of course. You guys make up your own minds, and that's why I give you the information, so you guys can make up your own minds. But I just wanted to share that with you, because both of them, um, Mikaneko and uh, Ruki, also want to go and do their own thing. They want to enjoy uh, their own lives. They want to enjoy their own separate channels. So let them do that if they want to. And that's what I have to say about this whole situation, this whole weirdness going on. Niji continues to pump out more Kotoka merch with no update on the live for themselves. This is something here. We're celebrating three years with awesome new merch plus a special Niji Sanji EN third anniversary campaign. This is uh, Niji Sanji third anniversary for them. And they're pu putting out the Kotoka stuff down here on the, you know, why? I don't know, but it's because they want more money, more than likely. New merch, let me guess, an acrylic button and other things whose name I forgot. Acrylic stands, tin badges, zinc keychains, paper cards, all that kind of stuff. All the same stuff. Uh, much as I have a bad taste in my mouth about when she said against Zion, I ultimately hope she's okay. Unfortunately, Niji isn't giving me the confidence that she is. He'd ask some stretch for them to milk before they kick her out. So where is Niji milk the money off her image? I uh, don't care enough to let her fans know she's okay. I mean, they technically own everything, so they can do that. True. They got to squeeze everything they can. With, uh, say, Hollow Live, this happens, just assume they're on a break or in hospital recovering. But with Niji Record, Selen, Gundo, etc., definitely silent suspension into potential graduation. It could very well be a potential graduation. Uh, for Hollow members, even if they're active for a while, update from other members on what they're doing, so fans not really worrying about them. Some tell a story about them having fun offline. Niji, when other livers inactive, they go radio silent. Everyone have nothing to say. Give reason why. They pretend nothing happened. And we get the big news after like that, like what they have happened. So yeah. The unfortunate case is that those who are deeply invested in so-called characters are suddenly having a crisis because the part you meant to ignore is starting to reveal itself and not aligning with the fantasy that it's portrayed. Uh, subconsciously trained to never care about the person as well as being an intent. So yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot of cope, of course. Gonna release the merch in UGN members. Third anniversary for all in EN, so it's supposed to be the case, I assume. From the website, participating in EN Livers, Astro Arcadia and Alouette, Fulger, Ike, Kotoka, Maria, Meloko, Rosami, Uki, Vantacro, and Vox. But why isn't there a TTT rep there? Uh, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, there's no TTT rep. Because um, celebrating Niji being three years, but Rosami is the one who's around three years. It's acrylic and pin keychains. Uh, yeah, it's basically celebrating the EN three years, not everybody being there three years. Don't see a lyric for Nana since the image is literally alongside Pomu started Niji EN. I guess they don't want to put a lyric in there because of the uh, the bad rep that she has right now. So that's what's going on on that end. In an interesting kind of turn of events, Rosami is said corner. This person's gigabase for not changing your intro still has Selen in it. I'm generally surprised she hasn't been forced to remove that part. If you get terminated, suspended, etc., due to Niji management print pettiness. You'll get massive boost on your uh, roommate account. Rosemary is base and want to taunt Illyra. Well, people are, this is this is a theory, of course, of wanting to taunt Illyra. This is a big theory about that. When it goes far to say she's taunting Illyra since they're both friends, joining Niji Sanji. If anything, probably still respects the Len enough to keep her in their intro. Truth is, we don't know the situation is between everyone. At least Matara has confirmed that she's in contact with Rosemary and Matara seemingly is distancing herself from the rest of the talents. We don't know everything because, of course, we're not in there. Also keeps the links to other gen mates while Petra removed hers uh, after February 5th. Also similar topic, thought about something. Ex-livers keep saying things paint Niji in the bad light. They can't say anything directly to avoid legal issues. Yet despite all of their jabs at Niji, some livers are still talking with them publicly. Which makes me believe that their opinion on Niji Sanji is not that different. They have to play along and pretend to defend the company. They are obviously very limited in what they can say. Even Mint recently tweeted that she wanted to talk and remove the tweet. I can't imagine what livers must feel and how bad they want to just get out and spill the tea to clear things up. Effing Company puts millions, millions of roadblocks to avoid legal issues with other company sponsors but doesn't give a crap about their livers. It's gonna be real here, management probably just forgot. That would be a massive loss. You know, yeah, it, it would be definitely be a massive loss on the whole thing. Rosamie's intro so iconic, straight up Rosamie's theme song, so glad management's too lazy to notice it. Too lazy or they just don't care. Either way, glad Rosamie still kept Selene in there. Here is an anime impulse thing. Uh, they increased the Niji Sanji world meet and greet ticket limit to five. Don't miss this opportunity to take phase, talk to your face, the Luxian Noctics in crisis. Come to our special Niji Sanji world camp counselors. Uh, we may not have uh, canoeing, but we will meet and greet in group uh, all day long up to uh, on May 19th, it looks like. So yeah, it's going to pop up. 
If you enjoy Nidhi Sanji, go ahead and do that. They're begging for the people who bought tickets already to burn to buy more. Sad AF. More details. Both Luxium Noctix Group panel at the Crisis panel are not sold out with a limit currently set at 10 tickets. Holy crap, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot. Neither lineup is sold out. Shu, Luka, Aoki, Albin. Lineup number one is sold out. Lineup num number two is not. Ike, Fox, Folger, Sunny. Single lineup not sold out. Single lineup sold out is Vantacro. Sorry, I'm not really a person that would ever do these kinds of things. What would be the benefit of purchasing multiple tickets, uh, let alone 10? What it does is that each ticket gets you like a minute, minute and a half. And if you buy five tickets, then you can get a longer time in there because you bought more tickets. That is what they're doing. They're trying to make it instead of, you know, being like, because they had an issue with Veracity of uh, not enough time, I guess they're trying to do that. They're just trying to uh, fluff up the numbers, pump up the numbers from one to three, then to five. He is getting really desperate. Uh, same exact uh, shtick they tried during the recent V-Rhapsody. Yes, the increasing of everything. Need you camping, huh? How about need you drinks? Let's shut the F up. Uh, buy your tickets, need sisters. Man, need sisters just talking big about giving full support to them. They just know their limit. They can't say due to high demand. Yeah, because they, they don't have high demand. Except the fact that Niji, no one wants to support your S black company. Therefore, because you're black company, your talents are suffering and will keep doing so until you, one, do better uh, and learn to care for your talents, which will not happen. Uh, or two, let them go so they can be happy and successful with you, which they will not happen if they're under the contract. I know that you won't do a damn thing, so they'll continue to suffer. Uh, how many are taking mental health breaks right now? Just asking Niji. Yeah, right now, I believe it is Claude Clawmark has taken one. I know N is taking one. I know Kotoka has already taken one. And here are the ones that are sold out. Ike Evelyn is sold out. Fulger Ovid is sold out. And Vantacro is sold out. Fulger, uh, as far as I know, and Vanta, as far as I know, have not done anything bad. Vanta was in the same one that um, that Hex was doing his crazy stuff with. Like saying about, you know, doing things to people's ashes. But he himself wasn't saying anything or even laughing at it. He was kind of just shocked. Um, yeah, this one for Ike is sold out officially sold out so yeah they're having some that are selling out uh 50 usd for a minute and people pay 250 usd to talk to libraries for five minutes is baffling me uh that's just all all it takes that people have five tickets each i see uh surprised they didn't do that the last place when they did the five ticket limit at anime impulse la earlier in january so you could have theoretically bought two tickets for hollow stars and got one more minute for way cheaper than buying five tickets see that's the thing uh nidhi sandy is trying to you know sell out tickets have people spend a lot of money because, like, it says two tickets for Hollow Stars gets you one minute more than five tickets for Niji. So why would you do that? $85 one ticket, max per talent, which is three minutes. Initially, it was 50 for one for one ticket, max two to, two to three tickets per liver with one minute each. They also increased the max limit from two to three tickets, and they did it to five tickets max now. So before the initial increase, yes, you would have gotten more with Hollow Stars just for one ticket rather than Niji Yen with their livers. Well, color me surprised. You know, it's just, it's the way things go, unfortunately. I don't know how these things work, but I assume the tickets will stack. Yeah, it's five tickets, five minutes, but imagine if they effed up, so one minute equals five times. Yeah, that would be messed up. If you buy more than one ticket, they stack. So that's good. They're all stacking. That's what we want. Uh, at least they're doing that properly. This is what happens when you end up paying an intern too little money to do what needs to be done. Uh, they left an oval there. Um, I thought originally when I looked at this, I thought that it was just emptiness and showing the oval rule of threes. You can't have an empty space if you're trying to put everything in, in thirds because uh, then it'll just show off kilter. It'll be off, you know, off spacing, off balance, whatever you want to call it. And this one, instead of being, uh, you know, that they forgot something, they did forget something. Absolutely. But instead of it just being that they forgot something, it is that they left the oval there to show where something else was supposed to go and they didn't uh, fix it in post or fix it in uh, general. It looks like it's like that's just the nothing oval um and it's right there so if you paint the oval yellowish it realizes your big bird egg lmao lira finana both unremarkable disliked by a lot of people yet they still get merch click queen and her uh, educated fish maid Riku afraid of shareholders got to make merch you have to absolutely have to make merch first air poster now this presentation is everything and empty gaps are missing talents look weird to outsiders and suspicious to those in the know but may not be 100 aware of may not be 100% aware of the situation. You can easily fix this layout in either Photoshop or even PowerPoint. The intern doesn't care or isn't the one on purpose trying to give a subtle nod. They might be trying to give a subtle nod. Who knows? Bold of you to assume this is given enough time for the intern to take a chance to quit. Management probably rushing whatever merch they can make as fast as possible to try to make the merch shop profitable uh, and and to make the profits look as negligible as possible. You know to make sure that they have profits at all. Uh, there a link to the page. The image is not just blurry for me. Also, the one at the bottom half of the page is shown. Uh, the point is a circle being there, but white space. 
for an image is being standardized. So here's the image right here, like the rule of threes, the rule of threes. And um, this is the merchandise that they're doing for them. Here, see, here's better, but there was an empty space before. So they fixed it. It looks like they fixed it. It looks like um, things were fixed. So at least in the news section that they have, they actually fixed the issue. Um, so they fixed it. There was an empty space before, but it actually got fixed. So I won't knock them too much because it actually got fixed at some point in time. So I'm glad that the OP um, actually showed everything and showed that it was fixed. But it's still bad that this was even a thing to start off with. This should have never been a thing. Should have never been a thing to have that empty space, period. But it was fixed. So I, I take back them not taking time because apparently someone took time to fix it. Someone saw it and fixed it. You can't tell the circles are added in post. I don't know what to tell you. It's just a highlight empty space. Yeah, it was just a highlight empty space. So that's the thing. And um, of course, uh, still, like I said, rule of threes, you should not have this empty space, period, period. So yeah, empty space, not good. Uh, Noctix has new merch. Luxium has new merch. And of course, it's just stickers in this case, I believe, uh, or visuals in some way. It's like, uh, Suisse feels bad about pumping out the merchant CD signal. She turned off super chats to save Hoshiomi's wallets. On the other hand, we have Niji the Greed. And at least her merch is all different. The new f uh, figure, backpack, Zozo Town jacket, pillows, etc. Niji just makes cookie cutter buttons, keychains, and acrylic stands. Sorry, y'all, but they're just pumping out um, new merch promos just as I finished the last post with them also promoting stuff. Didn't really follow Niji before, but is it normal for them to pump out so much merch almost every week or so? There's new merch or reselling of merch. Uh, how did Niji's sisters not get overwhelmed by this? They have to be right. I'm not burying the damn, buying the damn merch. Yeah, I mean, it, it gets tiring after a while when it comes to this whole merch stuff. Uh, Noctix and Luxium getting the benefits. And of course, Etheria getting some benefits. But uh, other members who are also good are not getting the best benefits out there. And that just shows you the greed, of course, of Nidhi Sanji trying to just pump out the numbers of the highest people out there. Some indie VTuber news. That's actually pretty big news. Hachi made your debut announcement. We are pleased to announce that Hachi will make their major debut with King Records. We plan to release their first major album this, this uh, autumn. And here's the announcement. Uh, I'm going to go through everything. But here is RK announcement. Hachi Twitter. Fan made official Hachi singing stream song list. By Cal22. Here is the RK Music one. Uh, decided that Hachi will make their major debut in the King Records. And here is the thing here. It's a uh, major debut announcement from King Records. Also been decided that full album will be released this fall. Please look forward to further announcements. People are very happy. Right here it says, um, there's been a lot of talk about V singing recently. So I want to, sh uh, to shock the people who have been making fun of him. I'm glad his singing voice has been recognized. I can see the prejudice uh, can mean can missing out on opportunities to find something truly good. Hachi is this person here, a uh, female Japanese virtual singer. He, of course, in Japanese, uh, he, his, and she, her, I guess use the same kind of uh, like words. So that's why it's always gets put as him for whatever reason, even though it's a her. Um, and originally were with Live Union. They debuted in 2020, so they've been there for four years and they're getting recognized finally. And I'm very glad to see that. This is their YouTube channel, 233K subs. We have their videos here, which are their singing. They've been, uh, they have really good uh, views on all their songs. They do everything from official music videos, covers, other things, 233K subscribers. This is their actual um, VTuber uh, thing here. And of course, um, we have everything in regards to uh, things that they have been posting out here they posted on their twitter finally they will be officially making their major debut with king records uh, it's also thanks to the support of everyone at bees thank you very much we hope you will continue to support hachi for many years to come everyone's giving them love uh and right over here it says uh thank you for the stream hachi will continue to make music that touches everyone's hearts hope there will be more challenges i can make in the on in the future i will continue to work walk in the path, future with bees thank you the bees i'm assuming is her uh you know fan name the fan name, the fans that she has. So all these things, of course, great for Hachi. Great for everything that they've been working hard for since March 2019 for their Twitter, but 2020 for their actual VTuber activities. It's always great to see a indie go and be bigger and do better things. In a recent stream of Shinkansen Zero, we have a Sayu talking about cancel culture, how it's bad, how people wanted to cancel others for small things uh, to try to virtual signal is a bad thing. Boy, do I know that it's a bad thing. People just always try to do that to push themselves up and push others down and try to cancel others just because of small stuff.
Yeah, I feel like people are a little sensitive with jokes nowadays. Like, everyone's trying to cancel somebody over something and then get, like, clout for it or be like, oh, I made the world a better place. And I don't really think that's necessary, you know? Like, why do we have to... Like, it's it's so... I think it's really messed up that nowadays we're too focused on trying to cancel people over small things yes. rather than canceling people over... like Or rather, not canceling people, but rather than stopping people from actually doing things that, like, you know, cause suicide and cause bullying and cause yes. those kinds of mean things in life. I really don't like that. So I really hope that we can grow ourselves into, like, a community that can actually be i guess fight you know the 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 side that stands for that kind of stuff you know like i don't want to ignore that kind of stuff i think it's nice that we can stand up for it and you know that that requires us to be bigger that requires us to be stronger and that's the that's kind of what i fight for you know yeah it's that it's the motivation the virtue signal and all that stuff yeah Yeah, i'm not there for that like i'm not trying to do the hip the hypocritical other thing where we're virtual signaling not that but like i want to be the the voice of like we're just you know doing our thing and if people do bad things, then we encourage people to look at what things really are. Yeah. You know? And otherwise, we can laugh about it. You know? Otherwise, it's nice that we can laugh about it. So, yeah. Cake Biffin! Thank you so much for joining our syndicate, dude. Thank you. I very much appreciate it. And some nobody, thank you so much for the kind soup and the kind message. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, fam. Oh, I appreciate that. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Happiness. Mm-hmm. Life is hilarious, and I thrive on making Hell people yeah. like you laugh. You do a good job, Abysmal. I love having some, all of you guys here. Like, yeah, you guys are all special. For real, for your own good, for other people's, you know, own good, blah, blah, blah. Like, look at this, look at what this person really is or whatever. Like, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, the other thing is, like, what I also don't get is, like, if you talk, like, shit about other people, it's such a slippery slope. Like, people are so comfortable using that as, like, you know, content, which I get. But, like, there's a difference yeah. between talking shit about somebody and using it for entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, doing, using what they did for entertainment. I think it's, there's two different things to it. One of them is literally like, you know, shaming and, and you know, uh, calling to action for the other person. And one of them is literally like humor. <laughs> but- and that's the thing. Uh, that's that's where, the reason why I wanted to get that, because cancel culture is really big in the VTuber community. Cancel culture is really big in general. People try to cancel something, someone and somebody for something small to virtual signal. And they'll go and say, don't attack the person, but then put everything out there so that the person gets attacked it's very duplicitous it's very two-faced it's very um trying to pretend you are uh morally superior to someone else while you're doing something that makes you not morally superior which is cancel culture a little bit of news uh here from sayu she announced it on her shinkansen zero thing that she was doing she announced that um she's going to be doing a stream about armchair and uh, what they recently did. Not both Only Folk Devil Zion and maybe quick rundown of Armchair Stream. Reaction Stream Friday, 8.30 p.m. PDT, uh, GMT. Uh, Brussels, please, can we get to the summer winter time f- uh, for all? Damn it. Can edit the post. Thought she said both, but oh well. She initial, so it might be misleading, so you are forgiven. I really hope that she's ready for real. Armchair video, videos of Armchair Expert about the PR side of what happened with Zion. Uh, is a channel started by a PR expert with similar type of edit to Internet Historian. First video was analysis of Zion's termination in the black stream. Also analyzed Zion's termination since everyone, including I, pointed out that the similarities and possible reason for why they did almost the same to Selene. She said on stream, didn't watch any of the black stream video, other XLA members did. So I hope we're ready for that video, especially the outro. Jesus, does that video have a horrifying outro? Either way, I hope everyone gives her the support she needs. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting video for her. Admit that I'm worried too, but I'll help her get that much closer to real closure in her past and Godspeed. Yeah, I think she's doing well. She's going to be doing okay. The Zion video openly mentions that Sai was Zion. Of course, it's something that she will have been saying in every way that isn't openly explicit. So yeah, um, people already know. It's fine. But uh, I'm glad that she's going to be doing something like this. So here we go. Let's continue here. F call brain rot. Be killing me here. These are all memes, by the way. It's this meme time. Wears a blue cap. Is blonde. Has twin tails. Green eyes. Life give a big F you. Some sort of authority figure is, go- is out to get them. They're both from FGO, like the FGO and that. They pretty much, it's just all the same. Also, they're enemies. I will hit you with an attack that breaks the universe and you can do nothing. Them, no. Activates anti-enforcement. They're enemies, what? But my attacks are really hit really hard. You can also just choose not to get hit and not harmed. I don't care. They're enemies, but that doesn't make any sense. Too bad. Also sacrificed herself to bring down a giant no-brain corpse, Senimos. Cerninos, Cerninos. Now we can wait the Avalon version to fight the final boss, Math- Mothman, which is uh, Riku. Riku is nothing like Obesis. How dare you? I've been saying for the first four since ever. Revival. Been more into fate. 
it, since over de a decade but left before it went over the rails castoria has always been a favorite of mine even i don't gotcha she's a new character no but she's among the most popular real question is here are they meta next one this is a person trying to hide from made mint and it's hilarious it's a meme because you know it's made mint docky oh no that's awful that's horrible link please so i can avoid it open twitter search mid phantom click reply scroll no butt mode hot so this is uh lewd as you can see uh they bought the mint phantom uh docky makura that has the mole on the buttocks who are you trying to hide from this is me this is mint right here gimme uh this um who is that hot maid chill that's your wife uh moreover there's one get this off kai online in jan in july ah okay um off kai or online in july is when you get that docky never thought i'd live long enough to see mint docky i bet you have very well rested sleep and wake up in the morning feeling very refreshed of course and of course here we are uh let's see if they replied a menacing maid appeared really mint uh my dear really it's too late for them hide uh <laughs> the, the the face run uh and the kurt angle one and then we have all these made mint uh scatter scatter people she's here the 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 uh the vietnam flashback face good time so mint mint is 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 definitely you know enjoying the the, the funnies there uh vtuber drank one to one soju energy drink cocktail for dinner this has happened to his heart uh this is chubby emu he's a doctor an actual doctor right now uh, i think he was a med student when he started this he was a med student and now he's an actual doctor and he does these types of things where you know like the, the person drank this, the person ate this, this is what happened to their body. Fuso has a thousand year old man presenting to the emergency room <clears throat> where he are, when he are now with labored breathing. My dude, you forgot this. Uh, NS is an 18 year old man presenting emergency room with arrhythmia, heart palpitations, copium. They are suffering from hypercopemia, hyper meaning, uh, high emia meaning presence in blood. Uh, they're able to make a recovery. They weren't able to make a recovery. Uh, extra context in Japanese, ASAP clubs, that tweet, and everything that went on with the one to one ratio. Before any mention of this risk to binge drinking has ever kicked into gear, viewers have said she might already reach a legal drinking age. Most of them. Lady Sanji made a recovery. Lady Sanji didn't know emia means presence in blood. Anyways, I'm going to eat at a gas station sushi. Anyone want some? Yes, the gas station sushi makes weird, like, brain amoebas and stuff. And so Lady Sanji becomes evil. It's sad because Hollow Life talents have friends there, were graduated and terminated. Uh, I don't think they're going to cut ties, honestly, because as long as it makes money, it's not going to cut ties. As always, it has to be a bigger agency. doesn't matter Needy, needy Liver's mods made uh, slanderous remarks or when their fans bullied Hollow Mems into, into graduating or when other talents covered a song designed to mock or degrade Hollow Mem or when their talents S-talked Hollow Live and still to this day did not apologize. Hollow Live always tries to be the friendly and open agency. Currently, they haven't cut ties with them. Just yesterday, Crimson Ruse and Matico had a collab stream where they're on good terms. And, um... Reimu and Astel also released a cover song recently too. So yeah, they're not going to have anything negative going on. I see more Hololive being selective with the whitelist of Niji Livers. So yeah, they're probably going to be more selective as it says. Less risky, risky collaboration which includes their male talents. Case in point, Hollow Stars Yen, Hodgepodge collab with Kuro K9 and Vishojo. Hollow as a whole is a good thing with Niji. Like they're going to be good because it's, it's inter-agency relationships, that type of thing. Their talents are still collaborating and policy has not changed. What might have changed is, and what we have no definitive proof of is that certain livers may have cut ties with Niji individually. For example, Mume is good friends with Doki, IRL, and I don't think in any way possible she'll openly collaborate with Niji. That's very true. I hate it when search engines dox the faces. This is the last meme for you guys. Kaysan, virtual YouTuber wiki. Kaysan, a public figure. This is this is their face. Of course, this is Guy's face because of course that's what's going to be. Um, it was fun reading the other tabs. I recognize Australian government web page when I see one. I had to make sure there was nothing too bad in the tabs. Feels very ADHD. A WTF case on was at the 40 year old Kazakh man, Kazakh man using voice changer and is instead just a random guy in his 20s. Unsubscribing 8%. Case has been working out. Damn. Let's check out the tabs. Uh, is there any pro Uwe flag of Papua state and territories flags of South Southern Iron Mountain Sanji. So yeah, they have a lot of a lot of different tabs. And of course, this is all just your your daily dose of uh, memes. The lovely, lovely memes. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.